Hello, I'm Petro and you are watching WellCode and in this video I'm gonna talk about the most common mistake everyone is making when learning how to write code. This is a very fun thing because almost everyone is doing the same mistake when it comes to learning and this is the most frequent one by far. You're probably doing it and it's, it's not a big problem but sometimes it just takes someone else to come and shake you up and tell you, well, here's where you're doing things wrong. The most common mistake is that you are probably not running your code enough. At some point when I was working at Facebook, I remember that I was trying to do something and I had an awesome manager. I was thinking about the solution and I sent him a line of code and I asked him, well, do you think this line of code will work? And he replied back with another question and he asked me, well, why don't you just run that line of code. And at that point I felt very bad because I interrupted him and I could have just ran the code because that was the obvious solution. Even in high school when I was taking computer science classes I was always asking is this correct? Am I doing the right thing? And now karma punishes me because nowadays my students do the same thing. They ask me well is this solution correct? Is this what you were referring to? And I'm like, why don't you just run your code? You have an ID on your computer. You already written the code. Why don't you just test it? Afterwards, I remember my younger self doing the same mistake. And now I'm thinking, well, Petru, that's what you're getting because you are not paying enough attention to your teachers. And you have to remember that at any point while you are writing code, you have this awesome tool, which is called an IDE. Even if you are writing a program which reads the numbers from the input and just has to print the sum out, you still can run it and test if the output is correct. So don't be afraid of it. Or even if you are trying to build a website and you're searching on the internet for tutorials and you're reading about HTML, you can still save your source file and then double click and open it in the browser. So there's a magic thing which will show on your screen, which is the result of your code. So don't be afraid of doing that. I know sometimes it's a bit difficult when you are watching YouTube tutorials about coding and you're just sitting back on your chair and looking at how awesome is the program that the person is writing. This is a big reason why coding tutorials on YouTube are bad. You need to run the code. Everyone gets lazy when he watches another person writing code. So you have to pay attention to this because I have to give you the harsh truth. Programming is not something easy that you can learn while sitting on your toilet and eliminating all the toxins that you accumulated during the day and you are watching meantime a YouTube video. You can't learn programming like that sitting on a toilet. You actually need to sit on a real chair in front of a real computer, in front of a real IDE where you can run your code. So please keep that in mind and until next time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna learn more about how to code. And also, if you learn something new, please hit up the thumbs up button. And if you haven't liked this content, please let me know in the comment section. I'm very interested about your opinion or maybe you have suggestions about other videos that you want to see on this channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. I hope you'll become very productive and very successful as a programmer and see you next time.